Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Getting Started with the RTB2000 Digital Voltmeter. In this short presentation, we'll explain how to use the integrated digital voltmeter functionality in Rodian Schwartz RTB2000 series oscilloscopes. This presentation assumes a basic knowledge of how to operate the RTB2000. If you're new to the RTB, or if you'd like a brief refresher, you might want to watch the presentation, Getting Started with the RTB2000 Basic Operation, before beginning this presentation. The RTB2000 has built-in three-digit voltmeters, which can be used to make three different types of measurements. First, they can measure the RMS value of the AC component of a signal. They can also be used to measure the DC component of either a pure DC signal or an AC signal with a DC offset. The third supported measurement is the RMS value of a combined AC and DC signal. The RTB supports up to four separate but simultaneous instances of the digital voltmeter. Results are displayed directly on the screen, but it's also possible to use programmatic control to configure and read values from the different meters. In the remainder of this presentation, we'll show step-by-step -step how to configure and use these digital voltmeters. The digital voltmeter can be started by pressing the application button on the front of the RTB and then selecting meter from the list of applications. Another way of starting the DVM application is directly from the RTB's toolbar menu. The DVM appears as a small, movable window in the RTB display. Tapping in the center of this window brings up the measurement settings. This menu is where we can configure the type of measurement that we want to make – DC, AC RMS, or combined AC and DC RMS. In this example, the meter is making an AC RMS measurement of a 2-volt peak-to-peak sinusoid on channel 1, and we see the expected RMS value of 0.707 volts shown in the DVM window. As mentioned earlier, the RTB supports up to four simultaneous instances of the digital voltmeter. Here, each of the four voltmeters has been assigned to a different channel, with different measurement types being used for different types of signals – AC RMS on channel 1, DC on channel 2, AC plus DC on channel 3, etc. To turn off any of these measurements, we would simply set the type to OFF. In the previous example, each meter was measuring on a different channel, but it's also possible to have multiple meters assigned to a single channel. In this example, channel 1 is measuring a 2-volt peak-to-peak sinusoid with a 1-volt DC offset. We assign the first meter to channel 1 with type AC-RMS and the second meter to channel 1 with type DC. The result is separate measurements of both the AC-RMS and the DC components of the signal. One important thing to remember is that if the signal is being clipped, that is, if some portion of the waveform extends beyond the limits of the display, the DVM measurement results may be inaccurate. When this occurs, the RTB will display a small warning icon next to the measurement. In this case, the vertical scaling of the oscilloscope should be adjusted so that no part of the waveform is being clipped. The RTB2000's DVM functionality can also be configured and monitored using programmatic control, more specifically by means of industry standard skippy commands. For example, we could send this command to the RTB to assign meter 1 to channel 1. Another command could be used to change the meter type to AC-RMS. A third command could then be sent to query the measured value, which is then returned in scientific notation. In this presentation, we won't get into details of programmatic control, so please see the RTB user manual for examples and a complete programming reference. Let's end with a brief summary. The Rodian Schwartz RTB2000 oscilloscope supports four integrated digital voltmeters, and these voltmeters can be assigned to any of the active channels. Multiple meters can also be assigned to a single channel. The supported measurement types are DC, AC RMS, and RMS of a combined AC and DC signal. The results are displayed on the screen in real time in a small movable window. And note that in addition to having a graphical user interface, these DVMs can also easily be configured and monitored using programmatic control. This concludes our presentation, Getting Started with the RTB2000 Digital Voltmeter. If you'd like to learn more about using the RTB2000 or about other oscilloscope measurements, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.